Hey, hey, hey. I hope you all are having a blessed night. Today's word is coming from 1 Chronicles chapter 16 from um, starting at verse 7 to 36. I know it's kind of long, but I'm going to read it to you all. We're going to get this. We're going to get it. Okay, so starting at verse 7, it says, That day, David first appointed Asaph and his associates to give praise to the Lord in this manner. Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Israel, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you I will give the land of Canaan as a portion you will inherit. When they were but few in number, few indeed and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake, for their sake, he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all of the earth. The word is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, God, our Savior. Gather us and deliver us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and, the, and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. So after I received this, God began to speak to me some things, and this is what he needs me to say. I say now. It says, he says, know me, know that it is my hand and all things concerning you. I will never leave you nor forsake you, for I am the Lord. My word does not fail. Look to me for your strength. Do not find it in man or in your own hands. My word is the same and forevermore. I will not turn from it, therefore neither shall you. You want to live in the land and possess it? Then follow me, for I know the way. Do not try to find the way for yourself, for there is only one way. And... That is through me. Obey my laws and my statutes, for they still live today. I reveal my covenant to whom I see fit, for my child knows my name, and they will not depart from me. Outside of me, they come to nothing. Words spoken in this state of mind is nothing, and it comes to nothing. All of my children shall live and not die to glorify me, my miracles, 
signs and wonders are in the making. They shall come forth at the hearing of them. Glorify me at the seeing of them. Glorify me. I am the Lord and my glory shall not go to another. If I speak it, no matter how long it takes, it shall spring forth. Allow no doubt to live in you. Do not allow the thoughts of the enemy to enter into your heart. I am the Lord. If I said it, it shall come forth. I am the God of worthy who is worthy of all honor i am the god of truth i am the god of peace what comes from my mouth you can certainly be grounded in it for my word never fails amen you all be blessed